Hi there guys and welcome to what is the first in a new series on my channel. This is going to be based around uh, Madden 19's Connected Franchise and this is Undrafted to MVP. So for this series I'll be playing as my favourite undrafted quarterback of modern times, Tony Romo. Obviously I'll need to create him but uh, the plan is to go from uh, an undrafted quarterback, so around 65, 66 overall, to then becoming the MVP of the NFL. The only catch is that we have to earn our starting right, so there'll be no instant starter. So for this series, we're obviously going to be creating a player. Now, we will be creating, I was a bit undecided between field general and strong arm QB in the end. Went with strong arm QB because obviously Tony Romo loves to throw the ball deep. He's not a dink and dunk passer, you know. Ge uh, field general QB would have given us sort of like really slow, uh, a really slow player, but uh, good passing stats. Whereas I kind of wanted a bit more speed and maybe lesser passing stats, just so we can build them up more. So we went with the strong arm QB. Now obviously Tony Romo was undrafted, you know, you do get the worst stats and that's the reason really, you know, could go with a late, ru late round pick like Tom Brady, but ultimately Romo was undrafted, so that's what we're going to do, make it as hard as possible to get to this MVP level. So firstly, got to be number nine obviously, and first name Tony. Last name, Romo. And he was right-handed and went to Eastern Illinois College. So let's find Eastern Illinois. So we found the Eastern, Eastern Oregon, Michigan, Texas. No Eastern Illinois. Elon University, not quite where we want to go, not going to be part of Tesla. So, is, that, is it just under E? Oh yeah, E Illinois, we found it. So, obviously Tony Romo was not six foot six, and I don't think he was almost 250 pounds. He was six foot two, so that is something that we will put down, and he was 230 pounds. Uh, well, we're going to go in at 22, we're going to be pretty young, obviously uh, not going to have, well, we're not going to be old Tony Romo, we're going to be new and growing Tony Romo. And we are going to go with face uh, skin tone 2 and face 13. So that's as close as we can get really to Romo's facial features and then obviously it's just standard quarterback stats from there in terms of how his body looks. We'll just update some of his uh, gear, obviously we're going to want a vest, a vest. we're going to want a flak jacket of sorts, no visor and uh, we're going to put see the long sleeves that Romo had on his arms, that's always a good look, we want it to look as authentic as possible. Not really too bothered about the, uh, the the quarterback style. You don't really have those styles where you could have a player imitate another player, like on the old Madden games where you could have the quarterback style of Peyton Manning or Tom Brady or Drew Brees. I think Romo was an option as well, especially on Madden 11. I think was was the last one I remember you being able to sp pick specific players for that. Then yeah, the stats. I mean. Not the best, obviously 66 overall to make it as hard as possible to become the starter to then lead the team to hopefully an MVP caliber season. 65 speed, 75 acceleration, not the best, but we're going to have around 88 throw power, which isn't too bad. From there, we will then obviously get into our season. So let's go into that now. So obviously we're going to start in the pre-season because we want as much game time as possible to actually increase our uh, ability and a quick look at the stats we're going to be all pro simulation and uh, we're not going to be an instant starter obviously we need to work to earn that place just as Romo did 
no pre-existence sorry no pre-existing injury and we're also going to turn off normal injury as well just to make sure that we stay on the field at all times quarter lengths are going to be eight minutes so makes it a little bit easier and minimum play clock being 25 seconds let's get into it So this is my player, 66 overall we are, and uh, we are a good scheme fit being a strong arm quarterback, so that's always good. Um, see, if we look at ourselves in the depth chart, we are number two, which makes us the field goal holder. So we have 16 overall to make up on Dak Prescott, obviously he's still going to grow a little bit as well. So fingers crossed we can catch up and overtake him, if not this season, then certainly next. But uh, yeah, Dak needs to play well because otherwise he's going to be losing his job to me. But with that, let's get into a little bit of training and then into our first game. So it's just slants for this particular training session. You know, luckily we've got a good offensive line so I can get those passes off. Two for two so far, you know, three for three. Luckily, the players are catching the balls and holding on, so we're doing all right. And that's four for four, nice little spin from Elliot. And then finally, going for gold. Looked like he was going to be open, but the defender just gets a hand in. So, silver, and we go into the first game against the 49ers. There's going to be some proper Tony Romo moments in this. Touchdown passes, and I'm sure pick as well, just as the game's on the line. I'm only 66 overall. You can't expect me to be a game winning quarterback already, right? Hello, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and partner, our long national nightmare this is still about 49. We don't care about 49. And this is way better than Watergate, isn't it? We're all about the Cowboys and 66 overall Tony Romo. But the big thing, this new crop of rookies and young guys, they get their chance to take the field and earn their spot. Okay, so now we're on the field, our first pass, and it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so out of reach of the defender, underthrown, and incomplete. But we do get the first down on our next throw to our fullback. You know, makes it makes it at least respectable. So we're not going to go three and out on our first drive. Alawale, whatever his name is. And this, we go back to the same pass as what our first pass was, and we complete it this time. Next down, we have pass over the middle. Could have been picked. Probably should have been picked with the spy there. And then play action. Throw it to table on Austin. Of course, I always forget that he's a running back now, Madden, rather than a receiver like he has been since his rookie year. But, look at that, wide open, Michael Gallup, and he takes it down for a fourth and two. So, I'm going to go for it. And Gallup was open. Well, he wasn't open. So it wasn't even Gallup. But either way, we turned it over on down. We get the ball back, and again, hit Gallup over the middle. What a good game. Third and two, third and three even. And again, Thompson was the guy that we were going for on that uh, fourth down play. We get him that time. And a nice deep pass to Gathers, or medium pass, should I say. It's not really deep. And then on the fake end around, we try and hit. Well, no one's open. We run it, but there's some holding. It's always the way. We get the first down on the, on the run, but. Blocking the back, sorry, not holding. Blocking the back. So with that, we then go back to the verticals and we are sacked. Not ideal. Back to the verticals again. Sacked again. No one was open. They held down everybody. Third and 26, we hit Austin out in the flat. And he's taken down well short of the first. But we will take a three-point lead into half-time. We get the ball back at the beginning of the third quarter. Sacked the game on another deep shot play. Thompson becomes open and we hit him for a first down. Play action again. Hit 
Austin, I know that obviously uh, Thompson there was wide open over uh, a bit deeper. Probably should have hit him. And then we throw a nice ball to Janbrin. That's that's a nice arcing pass and just out of the reach of the linebacker. So first down and goal. Tried to step up but sacked the game. Taking far too many sacks in this game. Either that or offensive lines just do do. Passed into the back of the end zone. Probably should have been picked, but batted well away. Romo drops back and hits Thompson again for a touchdown. That's our first touchdown pass of the preseason, obviously. And actually, it was quite a nice fitted ball uh, to the receiver there. Hit Gallup over the middle, but he drops the pass. Probably should have thrown it to somebody else. Defender just stripped it away. That brings up fourth down. We get the ball back and again Jambrin is our man. We've hit him a few times for deep passes, so we're doing alright there. We hit Jambrin again, but it was into traffic and Jambrin was never going to get that pass. Or shouldn't have ever got that pass. Fake the handoff and then just get the ball off to Thompson. Should have been should have gone down with the sack really, could have been picked, but uh, we get away with it. And then we take off on this play, picking up the, picking up the first down on third and nine with a 10 yard rush. Whew. Drop back again, Gallup open on that uh, that crossing route, but he is stripped of the ball and it's turned over to the 49ers. Not a good play there for us, but we turn the ball back over and on the fake script, or on the uh, play action pass, we are sacked. Gallop in motion and he will come across the, the play again. We go back to him despite his fumble and uh, he picks up some yards. And there we go, that's the standard Tony Romo moment we were expecting. Tony throwing an interception in the end zone with you know, very little amount of time remaining. Can't hit him on the slant there, so we'll go back to it. Nope, still can't hit a slant. Third down. Oh yeah, hit slant's open. No, Tony Romo cannot hit it. Not a 66 overall. Our short passing is absolutely atrocious. We drop back on first and goal again after getting the ball back. Again, another drop from that crossing route. Luckily it wasn't a fumble. And then we hit Janbrin again on the stick route to then make it a, well, score another touchdown really. So we pad our stats. We do finish the game with well, it was an 85.9 uh, sorry rating, 19 of 31 for 164 yards and two touchdowns, one pick. Not a bad first start, especially as I keep saying, we're only 66 overall. Some good uh, fantasy points there and uh, XP building as we go. So yeah, we will then get into the next week after this. So that it's a good start to our to our career, just need to build. So week two, we'll go back into some training. Be obviously be uh, different this time round. Won't be slants. I believe. Well, it's going to be um, well uh, hooks, and that's a good catch from Williams there because that was well out of his reach. He shouldn't have had to go get that one. We hit Olawale in the in the uh, in the flats, and then. Williams again in stride really didn't even have to break break down for the for the hitch that one's incomplete and then we will hit uh, is that that was uh, Hearns that time and we take silver now to go into uh, I'm going to change the XP sliders because well quarterbacks only 100 percent I think we're going to change that yeah we'll go to 300 uh, percent XP just so that it gives me more XP as I go. Obviously it will give um, Prescott more XP as he goes, but uh, yeah. Um, obviously, as I say, we're the field goal holder uh, for the first team, so um, that's our first play of this game. We actually scored uh, before I came onto the field. Now we're back, we're on the field for the second half and uh, we take the Open tight end gathers. And 
take the short route again. Michael Gallup making a guy miss, getting a block downfield. Nice little play there on third down. We're then sacked and stripped the ball, but luckily our offensive line are alert to it and pick the ball up. And we're sacked again. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's these third, like these second and third string teams sending loads of blitz or just my offensive line is trash. But if you look there, I was sure that Gallup was wide open there. The defender was hidden by his body. That was incredible. And we can't hit the uh, flat. Yeah. Really need to work on those short routes and uh, get our stats up. But we hit Austin that time in space and he is unlikely not to get first down. So we get the ball back and uh, we hit Gallup over the middle. Probably should start to look at medium and deep routes more. But uh, yeah, see that B was open there, but uh, we're sacked again. Probably didn't even have time to get that. So step up, that's a nice play. Uh, that is the Tony Romo that we know. Steps up, wiggles around a bit in the pocket and then hits his man open. Again, jam bring on the stick. Was it uh, wide open? We take those yards. Gallop in motion. And uh, we'll hit him. But uh, he is hit hard as he gets to the line of scrimmage. Oh, sorry, to the, uh, to the line of game. Again, we just can't seem to get people open and uh, catching those passes. The Jambri catches the fourth down pass. We are there. I mean, I don't know what we were trying there. I should have just got out of the pocket and thrown it away, but we took another sack. We played the screen, man coverage, and it's almost picked off. We are lucky, but he's tackled for a loss. Third and 18. Sacked again. Fourth and 24. This. We just, uh, we just waited for Gathers to get open. You know, Gathers probably shouldn't have been that open, but uh, he was. And we go back to him on the next play. Only two yards gained. Second and eight. Sacked again. Honestly, this. The backup offensive line is so terrible. And we were then stripped again for the second time. Luckily our offensive lineman gets there before any of the defenders do. And we're hit as we throw. And on 4th and 24 we turn the ball over. Currently we're 22 to 7 down. And we're sacked and stripped again. And that puts us back on our 14 yard line. We then hit, uh, I think it's is that Gallup or Williams? It's Wilson, sorry. Wilson on the vert and that was a nice throw. We then have Thompson open for the touchdown over the middle and uh, yeah we we get our touchdown pass that we wanted but we had quite a terrible game really in truth up to that point. We go 86 yards on our final two passes and if you see there we only had 184 so we've only got 98 yards on our previous 11 throws. So, again, a decent game, but uh, too many fumbles. In that. that would have been costly for our team if we, uh, if we hadn't uh, got the ball back. So we go on to our player, and yeah, we can now go up a level for strong arm. Well, any of these, but strong arm as it's a scheme fit, we need to keep increasing our overall there. So we're up to 67 after two weeks. Not ideal, but obviously we will get uh, more opportunities to grow but that is it for this episode as always guys thank you for watching if you have any feedback for me please leave it in a comment below and if you want to keep up to date with everything that i'm doing including more of this undrafted to mvp series then please subscribe and i'll see you next time